this is Marcy from the Homeschool Scientist and welcome to my backyard. I'm going to be sharing uh, during this series some backyard summer science tips for you and your kids to have some fun in your backyard. Um, first up today is we're going to be doing a nature survey in your backyard. Now this is going to be a square foot nature survey so it's going to be quick and easy. Um, it's going to be something you can do even with your littlest students. So right here what I've done is I've kind of mapped out roughly a square foot of my backyard. And you can see in this square foot that even in this little patch of ground, I have grass, I have clover, I have some fungus, I've dug down, I can see dirt, some pebbles, I've seen ants, I've seen a little spider, some little white bugs, maybe aphids, all in this little area. And what I want you and your kids to do is have fun and get in there and move this grass around and and see all the different things that you can find within here. And then write them down on a piece of paper and start making a list. And, um, and as you see this list grow, you're gonna notice all the great biodiversity that's in your backyard. And just think if that's just in one square foot of your backyard, just think what your whole backyard um, carries, all the different living organisms that are in there. Now this is a great way to start a biodiversity study, a classification study, because um, you, what you're going to do is take your list that you just made with your fungus, with your clover, with your bugs, with your dirt, and you can take it in your house and you can start to sort them. Ask your kids, how do you sort this list? You could do living, dead, for your smaller children, living, not living. You can do plants, animals, fungus. There's all different ways that you could sort this. And you could take different areas of your yard or the same area over time and throughout your summer, compare what you find in this area of your yard. So have fun with your square foot nature survey. Um, bring your guidebooks out. If you have some plants or some bugs that, you, that are totally new to you, you can just do a whole summer study on this square foot of your backyard. It doesn't take a forest or um, trip to the nature center to do a nature study. I hope that helps. Have fun in your backyard.